This is for the people looking to get an iPhone right now, deciding between the 13, the 14, or maybe just waiting for the 15, because it's coming out next week. And I'll jump right into it. If you need a phone right now, don't wait. Go for the 13 Pros if you're on a budget, and the 14 Pros if you want better performance, better battery life. I've used the 14 Pro Max, the 13 Pro each for a year right now, and here's the main differences I found. Battery life, camera, screen size, and display. Now, one of the most obvious difference between the two of them is the display. Apple did a notch for the dynamic island, and it's one of my favorite design upgrades. It unlocks a whole new batch of animations at the top. It gives you tons of information that just sits subtly, quietly at the top of your screen. Very unlike the notch, where you get no such notifications. But I have to say that I have experienced some bugs with the dynamic island. Whenever I use shortcuts and the shortcuts fails, animation just stays in perpetuity like that and it just hangs there. Like, I know it failed, but like, it's forever like that. And it has been like that for the past few days until I restart the phone to resolve this problem. And at this point, I'm just so used to this. Here's hoping that they fix this, because other than that, I love it. And yes, the iPhone 14 Pros also comes with an always-on display, but as you can tell, I don't ever use it because I find it extremely distracting. I rather be more intentional when I want to use my phone, plus you get a ton more battery life when you turn off the always-on display. Next, cameras. I can definitely see the camera upgrades with the iPhone 14 Pro Max. With the improved second generation OIS, handheld videos are so smooth. Like I've never ever turned on action mode or ever used a gimbal because I just never needed them. The footage already so smooth. But it's not like the 13 Pro's cameras suck. It has stabilization. iPhone 14 Pro Max is just better, smoother. So it's better for people with very, very shaky hands. But of course, if you wanted really, really cinematic shots, get a gimbal. The iPhone 14 Pros also come with a 48 megapixel camera. Insane, I know. <laughs> I mean, look at these insane details, but do I ever use this? No, because it just takes up so much space on my phone. And if I just keep on turning on Pro Raw mode, I will just run out of storage so quickly. Only at times where I know I'm gonna do a lot of crazy edits on the photos, like if I'm using the photos for work, then I will turn on Pro Raw mode. But most of the times for social media, IG story, I'm using the 12 megapixel camera. The 14 Pros just give you the option to take really good photos, almost as though you have a DSLR. But I don't know if it'll ever replace my Sony cameras. Comment below if you'd like to see a comparison between my phone and the Sony camera that I'm using to film right now. <laughs> but honestly, the 14 Pros do come with camera upgrades that I think iPhone filmmakers would love. Like being able to film in 4K in cinematic mode, I kind of feel like I should use it more, but at the same time, I like my Sony A7S3 way too much. Next, screen size. Now, this is more of a comparison between the Pro and Pro Max model. I decided to upgrade from my 13 Pro to the 14 Pro Max. More screen real estate meant a bigger screen to film stuff, to edit videos, photos, and it's easier to read articles, ebooks, watch movies, easier to text. Yes, texting with two hands. And I actually love it. Yes, it's heavier in my hands and my pockets, especially when I put on a case on it, but I got used to it and I find myself using this to edit and film a lot so a bigger screen size is a big win for me. I would say get the smaller screen, the 6.1 inch Pro if you want a lighter phone because the difference in weight is pretty significant <laughs> especially when you put on cases for both phones. Finally, the battery life upgrade. This was another reason why I chose the 14 Pro Max over the Pro version. It has a much longer battery life. This Pro Max can last me easily one and a half days. I honestly never ever need to bring out a portable battery ever. Whereas at this point in time, when I've been using the iPhone 13 Pro for a year, this phone needs a serious recharge by evening. There are other upgrades on the 14 Pros like crash detection. I have not <laughs> used this feature throughout my year of use of this and thank god. But it's the kind of thing that I think you'd be really thankful you have this when you need it. 
And if we are comparing 13 Pro to the 14, 14 Plus models, I would 100% choose the 13 Pro for the camera capability and the 120Hz refresh rate. And if you have time and you're not in a hurry, wait for the 15. The 15s will come with USB-C charging, which is a huge win for me. Not having to worry about the lightning cable when I travel will be so useful. Plus, prices of 13s and 14s are bound to drop when 15s get released. For now, Apple is no longer selling iPhone 13s, but you can get them on Amazon and I'll link it below. iPhone 15s are coming out so soon. I'm so excited. Subscribe and stay tuned for more iPhone 15 content. Let me know what you want me to make and I'll make it. <laughs> Take care, stay minty and cheery. Goodbye!